Northeast India, one of the richest treasures of biodiversity in India and the world. We started our journey here in 1993 with assessing and promoting renewable energy technologies at the grassroots. And soon it was clear, we needed to focus on the big picture, on the sustainable use of natural resources to help improve the livelihood of local communities. There were many gaps and we needed as many solutions. In 1999, the Department of Biotechnology supported Terry to set up a tissue culture facility in Guwahati and paved the way for bringing superior quality planting material and growth of horticulture farming in Northeast states. Banana, black pepper, citrus, edible bamboo, large cardamom, strawberry. Species that had never grown so far or had been discontinued by the farmers were supplied directly to over 2,376 farmers. But technology alone is not enough. We needed to build capacities on ground to promote sustainable use of bioresources. In 2001, we received support from Kapat to implement a watershed program in Kamrup district. We built a variety of water harvesting structures along with horticulture gardens, vermicomposting units and demonstrated cultivation of new crop varieties. Our efforts yielded increase in groundwater, surface water, productivity and incomes of farmers. In Assam, with support from the Department of Biotechnology, we have set up drainage centers to supply disease-free layings of silkworms to women and trained them in modern methods of sericulture. Women in several districts of Assam are now equipped with home-based facilities for rearing and spinning of airy silk. They draw benefit from higher productivity and consequently better incomes. In the forest of Nagaland, we work closely with the local communities and the forest department to revive community conserved areas and help them document their rich biodiversity. In partnership with the Global Environment Facility Satoyama, we are now spreading the idea through the youth in Tizu Valley, helping them to build new economic opportunities through ecotourism. In the oil refining parts of Northeast, particularly in Dulyajan, Nazira and Jorhat, we have applied our oil zapper technology to bioremediate and reclaim vast stretches of oil contaminated land, particularly farming land. Our most cherished work is with the children of the Northeast, the custodians of its future. We have mentored thousands of students across all eight states to deepen their understanding about bioresources and enthuse them on the role of biotechnology in promoting the sustainable development of the Northeast. Across a hundred schools of Northeast, we have worked with BIRAC, the Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council, to set up biotoilets that make use of anaerobic digester to convert waste into gas. These young minds, we know, will take the message of science, hygiene and sanitation to their families and neighbourhoods. We realize the need to design different solutions for this environmentally diverse region. We recognize the value of learning from the invaluable resource of its people's knowledge, culture and traditions. As we cross the milestone of 25 years, we look forward to the next 25 years with renewed excitement and commitment for a sustainable and prosperous Northeast India.